Hey everyone, how's it going? So we just received firmware 2019.8.9. So this is the latest firmware update with more power. So we have more horsepower, more peak up to 5%. So this was quite a surprise to us. And we plan to do a full test on this in a separate video, 060. We're expecting well below five second, but we'll see how it goes. This is the rear wheel drive long range update. And with that, we also have summon with your key fob. So summon with your key fob, if you purchase a key fob with the Model 3, which doesn't come with the, the vehicle, it only comes with a key cart, you can actually summon the vehicle using the key fob by holding down on the roof of the key fob. And whether you want to move the vehicle forward, you hold down on the front, or you set it to one click and proceed with summon, you can also do that without having to hold down the front. And then to move it back, you will push on the trunk. And then you also have sentry mode. So sentry mode here is a slight update to the previous version. This actually provides less sensitivity to the camera, but more sensitivity to the vibration if somebody actually tried to bang on your rear window and break it. Uh, I believe it detects more of uh, the noise and in addition to vibration, I'm not sure what system they're using that. It could be just the motion of the camera, but we'll plan to test this out fully on how to set this alarm off. But as a reminder, if you want to turn on sentry mode, you gotta have more than 20% battery within your vehicle and you have to turn it on each time before you leave your vehicle because by default, this is turned off and your standard security system is activated. And then next you have your dash cam. So now not only is your forward facing camera recording while you're driving or park uh, with the system on, also your side camera on your fender, are also recording your blind spot. So these will provide you with additional coverage if you happen to side swipe somebody or somebody side swipe you, you have evidence uh, with that side blind spot camera. Um, this is not your B-pillar camera, this is from your fender. And then dog mode, uh, so this was available before and there's a slight modification to uh, uh, this update where it actually works in uh, in lieu of your sentry mode. So you can't have both active at the same time. Uh, otherwise, the functionality is the same. Before you exit the vehicle, you hit on the Hovac system and turn on the dog mode. And again, we'll do a separate video uh, for each of these updates uh, separately. So this is just a high level summary. And then of course it talks about previous release notes. I'm um, surprised there's no update to the blind spot collision warning chime because a lot of people indicated that this is not working for them. But we'll, we'll test this out to see if we actually have to try to collide with another vehicle before it goes off. Then your auto folding mirrors, again, by location, it will fold the mirrors for you upon arrival, just like how it will open up the gate or garage for you upon arrival by using GPS system. Navigate on the autopilot, still in beta mode. So with this uh, in the previous uh, update, they, they improved this for the on-ramp uh, exit ramp. And also the lane change is less, less of a, 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 a challenge in traffic. So now is uh, detecting vehicle uh, in the adjacent lane a lot better than it did before. So there you have it. So again, we'll plan to use each of these functionality and demo this in a separate video separately. So at least we can provide that additional detail. I just want to get this video out there for you all. So you know that this is coming. I'm pretty excited about the extra range, which is not included in here, but we know that it will um, charge up to 325 miles um, max range instead of 310 before. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and look out for other videos on this latest version and we'll show you how it works in the Model 3.